And welcome to Idaho. My name is Gary Fornschel. I'm with the University of Idaho, and I'm co-chair along with uh, Forrest Wynn from Kentucky State University. Uh, we welcome you here, uh, uh, Forrest, and I hope that we meet your expectations for uh, uh, an informative and fun National Aquaculture Extension Conference uh, that begins today and uh, ends Thursday. So. I'm going to go over a couple of items before we get into our plenary session. Uh, to begin with, I'd like to um, thank uh, USDA NEFA and the uh, five regional aquaculture centers and specifically the Western Regional Aquaculture Center for administering, administering the grant uh, that's paying for a good chunk of this, $25,000. Uh, that's why we're going to eat well this week. You know, we got the money. We're going to spend it, right, Graham? Where you at, Graham? We're going to spend. We're going to spend every dime. There's not going to be one penny going back to the University of Washington. <laughs> so, and then I like to also recognize uh, Noah C. Grant and specifically uh, Penny Dalton. She is the C. Uh, C. Grant director in Washington State, and um, I received an application from C. Grant uh, for. To, to write a proposal, and I looked at uh, the C grant uh, process. My God, I. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Forrest and I were talking about that. We're going, well, maybe we don't need the money that bad, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. So, but I got up with Penny, and I got up with Graham Young, the executive director of the Western Regional Aquaculture Center, and I sent them the proposal I used for the USDA grant. And we discussed it and all that. And then I had a fishing trip scheduled. And I went off to the Great Lakes and did some walleye fishing. And by the time I got back, they had submitted the, the proposal and it got funded. So thank you so much, Sea Grant. And that's about $14,000. And so we have $39,000 to support this conference in addition to the registration. So at this point, before I get into my other items, I want to have Samuel Chan come up and talk about the Sea Grant. Well, thank you. As you all know, um, this conference is, is co-sponsored by USDA NEFA and NOAA Sea Grant Program. So I'm Sam Chan. I'm the National Extension Program Leader with the NOAA Sea Grant College Program. And on a detail there, uh, my original home is actually very close there in Oregon Sea Grant. But um, real briefly, extension is really the key to a lot of aquaculture because basically you as specialists, you as applied researchers are the ones who actually take the pulse of really what the needs are, the impediments, the what it takes to pull together an aquaculture program. And not just is, the, is it the science and the culture and the mayor culture, but it's also understanding people in the human dimensions. And so as extension agents, you're excellent in doing that. So um, thank you for your time. And I, and you know, on behalf of NIFA and USDA and, and NOAA and Sea Grant, um, we look forward to your thoughts and your comments um, because as we move forward, aquaculture is probably gonna be, uh, from what we're hearing, at least from folks on the Hill, aquaculture is gonna be one of those areas that seems to have very strong bipartisan support and so uh, whether it's administered by USDA or NOAA or combinations, uh, I expect that we're probably going to be continuing to invest more in aquaculture as we move forward. So thank you. Thank you, Sam. Appreciate that. So uh, uh, Forrest and I have heard a lot of uh, uh, comments about how we have a really good agenda. And that's because of the work that you guys do and the work that you're going to present. And I also want to recognize the committee that helped with the agenda. That included uh, Samuel Chan, uh, Matt Parker, Annie Lazur, Anita Kelly, Max Mayu, uh, Karen Rexrow, Gene Kim, David Klein, um, Rosanna Salone, Mike Rust, Ron Kanunen, uh, and I'm going to really mess up this one name, uh, Siobhan Leonard, and uh, Jimmy Avery. So we really appreciate the, the committee in helping us through this process and developing this program. And I want to especially recognize, uh, they closed the door, uh, out there. Uh, Christy Mayer. Uh, she's with the University of Idaho Conference Management Services. I didn't even realize that such a service even existed within the university uh, until last year when Ron Hardy, who's the director of the Aquaculture Research Institute here at the University of Idaho, hosted an international symposium in Sun Valley. And I found out that we have this service. So. Uh, I contacted Christy. Uh, we developed a budget contract, which we both signed, and she's taking care of all the conference management. So uh, with, without her, uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> we probably wouldn't be here speaking right now because uh, she really helped us uh, put this thing together. And then Paige Henderson is from the uh, University of Idaho Extension Twin Falls office, the office that I'm located in, uh, and she helped put together uh, the uh, uh, conference booklet, which has the abstracts and the, the brochures and all that kind of stuff. Uh, National Aquaculture Association, I thought I'd put it, yep. They donated, I think it was 70 or 80 of these uh, uh, USB drives. On the USB drive uh, in your, in your uh, backpack, you have the uh, conference booklet, which includes all the abstracts for this program. So there are 50 presentations, uh, 41 oral and nine poster. So if you do have a poster, please get up with Christy. She's going to put them up in this room at some point today. Uh, so get with her on that. And then we have the poster session at the end of the day. And, um, uh, and so I was going to mention something else and it just slipped my mind. See what happens when you get old? Uh, shoot. Anyway, I'll figure it out later. So, but um, you, you got everything on there. Has the abstracts, has the agenda, the evaluation form, and the attendees are on this, uh, on this thumb drive you have in your packet. So I also want to thank uh, Aquaculture North America. They provided uh, free publications, uh, uh, North, uh, North America Aquaculture and Hatchery International. There's a resource table out there. So if you brought any materials that you want to put on the table, feel free to do that. And then also, please feel free to take, uh, take a copy of each publication with you. It'll be a lot easier than me carrying them all back to Twin Falls, so. All right. So, okay, items in the bag. So, we know you guys got some good stuff, some good treats. You have uh, Idaho Spud Bar, it's chocolate. If you haven't found that yet, be aware of that, because if you take it with you on the tour tomorrow, it's going to be really hot. It might melt, so you might want to keep it in your fridge, in your hotel room. There's also uh, either trout and or salmon jerky in your backpack, so enjoy that. Uh, we're going to be visiting uh, a trout farm that supplied the trout uh, for that, uh, for that, to make that jerky. But uh, in your backpack, you should have an agenda right here that uh, provides all the, all the speakers. And then there's a brochure that uh, just gives a brief overview. And uh, I really like uh, how Paige designed that. She uses the side of a rainbow trout there for the, for, the, for the art. And then, as you know, in extension, we always fill out evaluations. And boy, aren't they a pain in the ass. <laughs> but, but, but you know, they are very important. So please fill it out. And we have it set up for each segment of this program for the next three days. So as we go along, please fill it out and um, and hand those in. Do you want them to give them to you or or uh, me at, to get? At the end, we'll, we'll put them in a box. And, yeah, okay. We'll put them up so, in all right, we'll put a box. That's a good idea. So but please fill this out. Very important. So uh, to get feedback on this conference. And, uh, and if you folks decide you want to have another conference within the next five years or so, this will provide very valuable information for whoever uh, gets talked into organizing another one. So, <laughs> so, uh, and then there's uh, the program tour. So, um, tomorrow will be the hottest day of the year here in Idaho. Now, Saturday, they're forecasting 61 degrees, but tomorrow it's going to be 97. It's going to be hot. And don't, no one say, oh, it's a dry heat. It's a dry heat. Uh, hot is hot. So, and uh, there'll be waters on both buses. Uh, I have two large coolers. There'll be one on each bus. Uh, there are four waters per person, based on the numbers that I had. Plus, we'll have waters when we stop uh, for lunch uh, at the University of Idaho Hageman Fish Culture Experiment Station. If you have a hat, bring a hat. Uh, if you have suntan lotion, bring suntan lotion. If you need extra waters, bring extra waters. It's going to be extremely hot. Uh, wear comfortable shoes, but good walking shoes. Uh, we'll be uh, doing a little bit of walking because some of the places that I picked for the tour, the buses can't get right to. So we'll have to park and walk a little bit, but it's going to be real hot. We're going to be down in the canyon. It's the hottest spot in Idaho. so. Be aware of that, and it's going to be a long day. 
and please be on time. We're going to leave here at 730. The buses will be outside uh, of the event center uh, entrance right below us here. And, uh, uh, you know, I've never done a tour leaving from Boise, so I'm kind of, you know, winging it as far as guessing the time. I, I, I drive much faster on interstate than the buses do, so it's hard to, it's hard to calculate those things. But I think uh, we'll be pretty much on schedule. Uh, we're going to visit uh, a tropical fish farm. That's Idaho Aquatics. Uh, and then from there, we're going to go to uh, the catfish farm, Idaho Fish Breeders, uh, which is Leo Ray. He's our luncheon speaker today. And you'll see catfish and tilapia there. Uh, then we'll go to the University of Idaho Experiment Station. And um, we'll have a lunch there. We're going to have sturgeon uh, tonight uh, for the dinner, which is going to be downstairs where the reception was in the Aspen Room. We're going to have trout. I brought up trout uh, from uh, Evaqua Farms. Uh, which uh, Magic Springs, which is the trout farm we're visiting, is one of their production facilities. So, and then uh, while we're there at the University of Idaho Experiment Station, you'll be able to look at and see some sturgeon. You'll get to see some of the uh, uh, USDA, ARS, and University of Idaho genetically selected rainbow trout that have been selected to eat uh, plant proteins, and they perform very well. You'll see those broodstock and just be able to relax. And, and, and there's trees down there. And you can, you can, yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, when when I when I when I go when I when I leave Idaho and I go like back east, I see more trees like in the square mile than I see usually in Idaho. So, so there's trees down there, and you can sit in the shade, you know, and uh, cool off a little bit, have a cool drink of water. So, uh, so that's tomorrow. And okay, let's see. The other thing I want to mention is uh, we are recording these talks. Okay, and like everything else nowadays, you're automatically opted in. So you have to opt out if you don't want to have your, you know, because we're going to, what we're going to do is uh, Julie Hahn, who's back there, she is the uh, administrative office manager for the Western Regional Aquaculture Center. We're, uh, we're going to record all these talks. We have the, the abstract booklet. Uh, we have all the other materials. Uh, we have all the talks will be eventually on this laptop. All of that will be posted on the Western Regional Aquaculture Center. So uh, people can go back and look at the talks. They can look at the, the audio uh, and video recording of those talks. And don't worry. Uh, when the, when the, the video guy asked, do you want to take the video of the people speaking, he said, no, 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 we don't want them to see those people. We want to see the content. So we're going to. So you don't have to worry about how you look or anything like that. We're just going to look at the, at the slides. So we'll post the slides. So, so. And you can always send us a nice picture, and we'll post it next to the video if you want. You know, so, so, when you're so, 20 years younger. Yeah, so, so yeah, Photoshop something. So anyway, so OK. Now, um, we haven't uh, received all the talks yet. So if. Uh, if you're a person that's given a, especially if you're giving a talk today and you haven't and you haven't given it to, to me yet, uh, please during the break, uh, and then also uh, during lunch we can do well. We're gonna, it'll have to be we'll have to coordinate with Leo speaking at lunch, but but during the break we can load them up and there's another break this afternoon. So um, I think I pretty much did I cover everything. You, you want to say anything else? Yeah, sure, please, as co-chair, the person that talked me into this. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, let's give uh, Paige, Christy, and Gary a big hand. They've really put a lot of work here on the ground. I know most of you have done these kinds of things, and you just can't imagine the uh, amount of work that goes in. I was greatly relieved yesterday morning when the power came on uh, after being out about 14 hours. Uh, so I know many of you have traveled a good distance to get here, just about all of you, I suspect, so we appreciate that as well. Uh, and this is, first and foremost, an extension meeting, and we're going to stay on time. So if we have 15 minutes to speak, we're not going to speak for an hour. So uh, with that, let's go.